Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. I have a 30 minute session I'm doing for a client. The focus is on bipo bipolar emotional balance, okay? Um, the focus is on clearing the darker side of the bipolar um, state. I'm gonna read the goals here shortly. I just wanna give you a little introduction. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, energy healing to support this client. I am so excited to look into this. I wanna thank you, the client, so much for the opportunity. Um, you're a total gift here. I, I love looking into complex situations and it's an honor to know you. It's an honor to support you here. Thank you so much for sharing with us on YouTube. There's so much we're gonna to learn today. I'm just gonna keep this whole experience open-minded because when it comes to diving deep into the dark side of anything, um, I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. I'm not sure what's going on in there. I'm not sure what's um, causing your unique scenario, your unique um, kind of fluctuation between you know joy or despair. I'm not sure what that's going to look like, but I'm very curious. You're wanting me to work with your higher self as well, so that's, that's excellent. Um, I'm gonna read your goals and then we're gonna get started. So you say, I want to work with my higher self. I want to open up, open up my heart. I want to understand myself more deeply. I want to feel genuine joy. I struggle with bipolar emotional ups and downs. My outlet is exercise to stay focused on a schedule. I want to understand this bipolar nature, clear the darkness inside myself. I want to let this dark energy go. I know life is a work in progress, and I would like some support in making new progress. You're welcome to share on YouTube. I'm okay with whatever comes up. All right. This is excellent. I mean, lots of specifics here. Okay, just a moment. <laughs> I'm already getting like pulled into an energy state, but I just want to really get caught up for my human self. So higher self, you want to open your heart. You want to understand yourself more deeply um, and feel genuine joy. So struggling with bipolar emotional ups and downs. So you exercise and you focus on a schedule that works for you. That's something that helps you with this. Okay, wanting to understand the bipolar nature, clear the darkness inside yourself, let this dark energy go. Okay, I mean, my gosh, this is so... It's like a, a perfect little like task list for me here. <laughs> okay. Man, oh man. Okay, so I'm going to relax here. Make sure I got everything in place so we can get started. <laughs> there we go. All right. So what can I do to help you today? I'm working with your higher self, diving deep into bipolar ups and downs, understanding this, bringing out the genuine joy, balance, wanting to clear out the darkness within. Okay, whatever comes up. So that's, that's great. Okay. Well, this, okay, so your higher self guides me into a space. There is a definite door in this energy space, but the door is hidden and there's a vibrational being here that doesn't ever want this door to be accessed. It's sort of like the door that sets you free. And we all want a simple solution, but oftentimes, like you say, life is a work in progress, but vibrationally, there's something blocking you from a next level experience, okay? And it's a being. It's somebody is here. So I have to understand, is this one of your internal demons? Is this an actual demon? Um, what is this? I don't know yet. So everything in my vision, this is what it looks like. It just looks like, a, let's say, imagine a cube, okay? But you can't really see the ceiling. You can't really see the walls or the floor, but you feel that you're in a space. Everything is in darkness. And there is definitely, I can tell, I'm like sniffing it out here. I'm sniffing out, there's a definite door and there's a being that says, no, no, um, there is no door, okay? So your higher self is guiding me. All right. This is going to be interesting. 
I mean, naturally, I could uh, hear that energetic being, set it here, start to interpret this being. Um, I can find the door, I can pinpoint the door, I could just access the door, just go through it, right? Um, but I'm here to um, understand, interpret, bring conscious awareness for you. And then even, I mean, this, this energy stuff is going to impact you at every layer, okay? And so it's interesting because when I, when I access these energy layers and then you're going to watch this, it's going to bring conscious clarity to what I witnessed and experienced, which is going to help move things for you. And just, it's like being in here, I feel like, um, what's the, what's, what is, what is the best way to begin? <laughs> because it's not necessarily point out that being, it's not necessarily walk through that door. It's almost like, what are you resisting? Pull in your consciousness, have you stand here. This is your inner self, okay? Pull in an inner part of who you are that is struggling with this the most, have this part of you as vulnerable as possible with some helping hands, right? So I'm here, your higher self is here, this vulnerable part of you is here, and we gotta face this thing. Like, we gotta break this thing, we gotta work on this, we gotta understand this, and it's good because you're actually saying, yes, I need to understand this, I wanna reach a next level with this. So the goal is clear, yeah, we gotta reach a next level with this, you're ready for this, okay? This is where I keep feeling like, all right, the, almost like there's a vibrational wall that I have to face. Like, um, and it, I feel like it's your vibrational wall. It's your comfort zone with this. So I have to help you feel comfortable with where we are and what we are witnessing because you do know about this place. You do know what I'm talking about somewhere in your energy field knows about this. And ask your higher self, what is the best way for us to make that next step? Because, okay, so let me see what your higher self says. That's what's conflicting. This being, youth, okay, this being is uh, mimic, mimicking, is uh, mirroring your higher self. This be being is, but this being is manipulative. This being is not your higher self. So when I start talking about your higher self and then I'm waiting for a higher self to speak, this inner aspect of you is looking for that being to give you guidance. That being is not helping you, period. That being is not helping you. Why did you make a, why did, why did you build a bond with this being? You, you, you are translating this being as a representation of love. This being is a representation of, of self-imprisonment, really, okay? Um, this being is manipulative. But this being is somehow um, your support group. This being is somehow helping you, keeping, sustaining you, keeping you alive, keeping your head above water. This, this being is um, translated incorrectly, okay? This being is the worst. <laughs> I mean, this being is the worst, okay? <laughs> Not a best friend. <laughs> if you were to call that being your best friend, you um, need to make, a, make sense of what best friend means because <laughs> that being is not a best friend. Being is not helpful. Okay, so this is really good because because the more I talk about this, this is giving room. There's just a tiny little, like a little bit of flex, like a little bit of, I don't know, like yoga move because <laughs> there's a, there's like a stretch, there's a stretch and your higher self is like squeezing through that little stretch. Okay. You need your higher self. <laughs> you need your genuine higher self. Okay. I know this is still the beginning. You probably have a lot of questions. We're going to get there, okay? One little thing at a time, and it takes time, okay? Unfortunately. Okay, let's see. I tell you, you need to, you need to speak the words. They're magic. These are magical words here. You need to speak the words, your inner, inner self, the most vulnerable part. Higher self, help me. Just say it, okay? Inside your energy field, say that. Because your higher self is getting through this flex, okay? It's getting through this stretch. 
Okay, this is great. So as soon as you ask for help, higher self help me, um, this gross being um, takes you by the neck, starts choking you. But what's weird is there is a representation between voice, obviously, self-expression, right? So it's choking you, is, is suffocating you, is putting you in your place, all right? But because it's targeting this spot here, this is about your freedom to be who you are, enjoy, and the spirit of who you are, okay? So this, man, is it like to choke, okay? So this being is choking you. And that, for some reason, activates your sacral chakra, okay? And it's about the pleasures of life and joy. No wonder the bipolar stuff. No wonder the, the, the joy and the despair. No wonder the darkness and the conflicts here, okay? So, okay, let, let's, let's go into the choke because there's a lot of information in this. <clears throat> okay, just a second. <clears throat> okay, yeah, you're torturing yourself for sure. <laughs> it's just going to be a bit weird for me right now, but <clears throat> I'm just moving through your energies. <clears throat> okay. And that doesn't hurt me, by the way. It's just like, it's just like you get, I don't know, like you get seized or something. <laughs> it just happened. Okay. So, so let's go into this choke energy. Your higher self's not going anywhere. Your higher self's here. We're helping you. We're facing this stuff. Nothing to be afraid of, okay? Okay. Yeah. You, you're going to cry like a little girl. That's what you're going to do. You're going to cry like a little girl. Like, I feel like i got to make fun of you. i got to, like, take away your masculinity. i got to degrade you. Like, something seriously degrading. Like, I mean, I've got to... <laughs> 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 like really like punish and degrade your filthy, your your pathetic, your your the worst. You never should have been born. Like, and it's it's not, it's like the worst. It's like the worst child, the worst boy, the worst, I don't know. It's like uh, like this, okay? And whew, that no wonder the choking. So who chokes you first? Like, life chokes us. Life chokes us up. Like, we don't always have a voice. Like, this could be at any um, stage in life. This could be childhood. This could be teenager. This could be anything, right? Well, we get choked up, right? This one has stayed with you, okay? This has stayed with you, and it's molded and shaped you, and it's, it's, it's like you are the mold and shape of this. <laughs> and it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard, okay? Okay, let me see what comes next here because I feel vibrationally huge sense like a huge wave of exhaustion comes from behind, comes from the back of the heart and it lifts up and then washes over, okay? So there was some sort of distorted version of love that chokes you up here and kind of it's like it, it planted the seeds of, of de degrading you completely, okay? And that's just not cool. I mean, it's like taking a solid person and turning them into a liquid in order to make, you know, whoever did this, whatever the situation, it, it made the, the creator, you becoming, you know, solid structure, turn to a liquid, whoever did that or inspired that for you made them feel powerful, but I guarantee they had a tug of war there. It just feels like this is an inflicted event. This is a maybe prolonged inflicted event. This is those distorted your rep it's distorted what love is to you completely. And I'm very sorry about anything that's happened to you in your life. Maybe at a, at ages where you just you wouldn't have been strong enough to to be able to talk back or um, it seems like that it's not about you. It's about whoever this is doing this to you. I mean, where do you exist then as a power or a force of, of power? Like, where do you exist um, anywhere? You know what I mean? Like, where do you exist anywhere a as having a force of power? Like, the, the true light of your spirit that you could actually be... Um, have someone who, who who would have made a difference in your own life okay so if if you didn't know how to be a, make make a difference in your own life um 
I, I think we all struggle sometimes to make a difference in our own life. I mean, but if that was somehow beat into you, or influenced into you, um, exposed you to um, certain experiences that y you just had to experience those things, but it, it's kind of like it, it degraded this self-expression. Um, I'm strong in, in my voice. I'm strong in my self-expression. And then mix that up with love. Okay, really bad combination. Really bad combination. So love is confusing. Love is going to be crazy confusing. So this is uh, good because it's okay to feel total shame. I mean, I feel like sometimes shame is that strange rabbit hole that um, if we are okay with the shame and whatever the, how do we receive shame? I, I don't, it's like shame is such an odd kind of emotion, but there's something shameful here that is trying to be muted, is trying to be numb, is trying not to exist. Perhaps that exercise gives you a state of um, overcompensating for shame. And, but exercise also makes us feel good. It helps us look good, helps us, you know, and it, 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 it's healthy. It's a healthy thing to do. But I'm, I'm trying to understand the balance of this helps me, this, um, and what I'm coming across, okay? Give you feedback, stuff to think about, okay? So shame is, is, is highly uncomfortable. It's, it's, it's absolutely unbearable, really. And if this shame is coming from like an early age, it's it's like, how do you properly heal that? Especially with all this time that's passed and you become the product of it. Okay. The unresolved shame, you just become the product of it. Okay. The more I talk to you, the more you're getting the information that you need because um, you, you need to take up. It's like there's a bit of black covering your eyes. So it's, it's hard for you to see. It's hard for you to interpret um, I have to hold my head here because this there's just exhaustion. This pure, pure exhaustion going on. It's exhausting. It's like, how, hold, help me hold my head up. <laughs> That's just what this is like. Okay, for you. So I'm helping you to hold your head up, okay? So we're just doing this. Um, who, who else is here? Who else is here? Somebody likes... Likes to um, slap you around, okay? <laughs> uh, what else is it here? It's all hidden in the dark. It's like, it's better for things to stay hidden in the dark. Because if they aren't hidden in the dark, then they're going to be revealed and then that might not be good. Okay, so is that what the darkness over the eyes is? Like, you're not giving, you're not allowing yourself to... Okay, they, okay, this might not be about bipolar stuff. What is this? This might be... What is this? Uh, exhaustion. I tell you, no secrets, okay? No hiding anything. You can't hide anything. No hiding stuff. You, you are... Um, I think, okay, this comes back to the sacral chakra. This comes back to um, shame, um, abuse, perhaps abuse here, um, self-expression. Um, this is literally like hung you, like you're hung. And then you still had to live your life with this um, struggle, okay? And you're the product of it, okay? So in this room, I'm just going to tell you I mean, I'm not, I'm going to tell you what I see here, which you don't, it's like, I can tell there's a door here. I can tell there's a being here. And here there's like 10 hospital beds and each bed has a different woman in, in it. Okay. And each woman is actually has a handcuff that is cuffed, just one hand cuffed to the bed. And you just want to do things your way. Okay. And it's an intimacy thing. And you just want to do things your way. This is terrible, you, because it's the same person in each one of these beds. There's so, there's, you, you can't, don't hide from whatever this is about, okay? And it, remember, I'm talking to your inner you, and you'll just have to try to figure out consciously what this might be about, okay? So, 
you there's basically a dead woman in the bed with a handcuff and you're making love to her and just let me do things my way but she's not dead yet and she's weeping and I see different stages of her different stages of her and then there's the different death stages of her and she's becoming icy cold okay She's not a doll, like, she's not a, a doll you just brush her hair and put an outfit on her or something. No, she is uh, not a doll. She is a living being. She is a fully functional, fully emotional, mental, spiritual living being. And everything is in the dark, and the darkness helps you cope with sexuality, it helps you cope with... Uh, it help, helps you cope with your mind and your emotions and, you know, exercise, the routine you, you mentioned is helping you cope. These are, these are strategies. This is excellent. But some of this, like you're saying, you want to get into opening up your heart. And so, um, and don't hold anything back because we're going to have to go bust on this one. Okay. We're going to have to go bust. So, um, so this has to kind of, light has to be shined here. Like we have to see here. We have to um, we have to take a look at this and no more darkness like the darkness is just like this thick smoke that is covering everything So even if you shine a light you can't really shine the light because the thick smoke is covering and like suffocating and choking everything Choking love choking out love. Okay, so it's choking out love. Okay you, Somewhere you got a choke where the love was choked out of you. All right, so so how do I, I ask your higher self, okay, you, you keep your higher self, your genuine higher self, you keep that higher self in a controlled environment, and that higher self has a, has a hard time actually reaching you, just so you know. The reason why is because you're listening to the wrong speaker. It's kind of like the angel on the shoulder and the devil on the shoulder, and it's like, who do we want to listen to today? But sometimes life makes it hard for us to realize that the devil it, it, it turned into the angel somehow. It made a lot of sense. <laughs> and, and so sometimes life like distorts who's really the angel and the devil here on the shoulder. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay, right? We're going to work through this one day at a time. Okay. Yeah, that's why we're talking about the heart because you you need to start listening to your heart, and and if that has been if 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 you've been through some things in life that that has been a hard place to access, okay, your heart has been a hard place to access. I, I ask your higher self, how in the world are you going to be able to learn how to work with your heart if if you don't have practice with it, or trying to understand that concept. I think you're afraid of, uh, okay, we have to talk about another thing. A comfort zone would just be to kind of withdraw into a place where you can do what you want, think how you want, speak how you want, and it's going to go down the dark rabbit hole, okay? And that's just a comfortable place because... Um, you, you seem to be trying to parallel or match a darker vibration um, because something dark has happened to you and that's familiar and a representation of love that is manipulative. It isn't love at all, okay? That's uh, that's bad love. That's no, no. <laughs> love that shouldn't, that's not the type of love that anybody should ever have to endure and try to make sense of throughout their whole life, okay? And to face the real love is um, actually going to be so hard because it's going to feel like it's going to clean out all of this that is familiar and is going to be unfamiliar. I feel, I feel also like, okay, because <sighs> there may be more control and it makes sense. Why? Um, like, I, I've got to do the exercise. I got to stick to the routine because this, this is how I'm going to control my environment. This is how I'm going to be able to sustain myself. This is how I will sustain myself. So you've got techniques in place that are working for you, okay? Um, there is this like, um, I see control happening in other ways, but getting lost in the wrong directions, okay? Um, control might be the structure of how you get through life, but the emotional place is out of control. 
that emotional place, like I as like, okay, practical stuff, as long as you stay true to the rhythm and the routine, you can survive this life. But this is out of control. This with the beds and the woman, um, you're not allowing yourself to talk about it. You're not allowing yourself to really look at it and make sense of it at the heart of what this means, okay? And uh, there's something, there's other stuff, okay? I, I, just give me a second. <laughs> I'll listen to the next thing. It seems like uh, that dark place is... That dark place is going to set you free. What I mean by that is you go down the rabbit hole of that dark place. It could just, it could be like this. Um, it's like, give life the finger. We're just going to get drunk tonight, do some crazy drugs, go freaking nuts. I don't know. Have a bunch of strippers. Just go down the dark rabbit hole and let's just do that. Let's do that every freaking night for the rest of our life, you know? What stupid thing to, to get involved in? Like, what a bad idea, you know? <laughs> that is only going to get you so far because that all that require that all that achieves is is shame. Okay, so it's helping you to revisit shame. Um, I mean, every now and then going nuts, whatever. Okay, but this is a, a vulnerability. This is like matching the vibration of shame, matching the vibration of I. Um, the structured human becoming the puddle and the person that wanted you to be a puddle of a person, um, you receiving that choking out your throat and then amplifying the sound of this is love somewhere in early years, maybe it just seems like early years. So this is going to distort what love is. So when you actually get to face what love genuinely is, it's not going to feel like love. The filthiest kind of love is going to feel like love, okay? But the most genuine, practical kind of love is going to feel like it is choking you. <laughs> it's going to feel like that's where the demon is. That's where the devil is. So no wonder these conflicts with the, the emotional state. All right, so we know practical. We know what helps you get through the practical that keeps the structure so you don't turn into a puddle, okay? But this must be terribly exhausting. This emotional stuff, you're going to have to be in control of this somehow. But this this approach with control is more like, um, it's not loose and limber. It's like uh, putting things into a locked cell, okay? Hiding things. It's, um, you're not free. Like, you, you totally uh, don't sneak around about anything. You know what love is. Start taking ownership. I know what love is. I know how to treat myself with love. I know how to treat others with love. And you're going to have to be super strong and, and stay true to that. You're going to have to stay true. You're going to have to be stay, You're going to have to be strong. And you're going to have to stay true to what you know. And you're going to have to really work hard on this. My gosh. it Good for you for, for continuing to do the best you can with your circumstances, okay? So... Now that we're talking about this emotional stuff, the, this being that I'm running into that represents your higher self is wrapped around your heart. It's like a black fire, okay? But it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's gripping you. It's not going to let go of you. You've decided it is you. It is your power. It is your sexiness. It is your thrill. It is your dark, um, mysterious secret world. It's... Um, and none of that stuff is real pleasure or real joy. It's manipulated. It's a uh, total bogus joy. It's, it's no wonder you're trying to find genuine joy. This is bogus joy. You're going to have to decide if that's okay that um, completely let go of that. I'm going to ask yourself, uh, what do we do? Because I'm still looking at the scene with the ten beds and the woman who has died um, still alive, turning into an icicle, um, a secret stuff, a sort of lovemaking stuff, and it's it's like your way. Um, and she's handcuffed to the bed, so she's not able to um, be set free. She's uh, stuck here. They They want to remind me there's only one hand shackled. Both are not, okay? Just one is. 
I want to see her challenge you. I just I want to see what this means. Okay, so we're going to work on the veil that's here with the black smoke and everything's in the <laughs> hiding in here. I'm not allowed to see this apparently. Um, okay, so we're we're going to we're, we're going to give her some power. Okay, so I'm going to take off the sh shackle. <laughs> I mean, as a handcuff, I'm take off the shackle, and let's see what she does when she's free. She just, she loves you and she says, stop doing this to me. And when she hugs you, it makes you feel like icy cold. She feels like a, an icy cold animated doll that needs to have an on or off switch. This is so important because this here is um, what you're struggling with, with genuine love, um, working from the heart center, um, accessing genuine joy, Okay, so I, I'm i just like, uh, it, this, no judgment on any of this stuff, okay? Because we all we want to do is get to the solutions, so we're just going to keep working through it, okay? <sighs> You're bringing out the dark side in herself. So she has to be strong enough to not do that. But you can't keep her in the dark either. She's trying to bring you into the light, the sunshine. So who she represents is actually the key. And you might destroy this key, okay? Because you're at a tug of war with this uh, filthy intimacy, filthy love, dark, um, just hidden love, okay? Um, it's on the dark side of the spectrum of what love can be about, okay? It's like uh, pornography. It's like, uh, it's, it could be bondage. It could be um, whips and chains. It could be, I don't know. Like it, it's on the darker side of that spectrum. And, and what that parallels to is the first time you were choked it, here and you're, you were not allowed to express yourself and you were not able to take care of yourself or help yourself and you were doomed to endure. And then the breakdown of the structure into the puddle person and the joy that was fed off of in doing this to you. While also I guarantee that person um, also endured shame because there's this weird cycle of shame going on here that you're also working through the cycle of shame. I feel that um, it's it's basically plastic. It's um, not uh, fulfilling for your heart at all. It's uh, it's almost like love needs to be a little bit dark for it to be accessible for you, for you to feel it. And she's not dark. Period. She doesn't represent being dark. She's not a uh, doll. She's not, okay. Something's getting very exhausting in here. You're, you've got another side of yourself that is trying to protect you from changing. This is a safeguard. This would be your ego out of control, but this is ego that has become an actual being. This is, uh, you're up against a lot, by the way. I, I mean... You must have to succumb to this stuff. No wonder the ups and downs that are so hard. You, I, I mean, this has basically swallowed you whole. So this being that's come to protect you is actually, um, again, another representation of manipulati manipulated love. And it gives you comfort and reassurance that you are, um, there's nothing wrong with you. That she's just this icy cold um fake person that needs an on-off switch and if you could just turn her off sometimes if she could just be turned off you know um that you could if you could control the on-off switch that would just make you feel better because it, there's a weird sense of control here even when it comes to love because you can't just set your heart free if this is this you know it despite what we're looking at it's this is impressive okay we are working through this okay you want to rape her. You want to... You want to put her back in the shackle and tell her how it's going to be. 
And she's going to listen like a little doll. She's going to do what you tell her to do. Who is, who is this, actually? Is this uh, somebody who hurt you when you were a kid? Or is this you, actually you? Or is this the echo of somebody else coming through you? That you just absorbed it. Like abuse, like a parent abuses child, child grows up to be the abuser. Like that can also be a representation here that you are up against a generational thing, okay? Um, I don't know how to fill in the blanks. All I can tell you is the way these energies make me feel. And then you're going to have to consciously reflect on it, okay? Uh, okay, the, the, it, I, need, I need to pause for a minute. Because I have to, I have to determine if this is healthy or not healthy. Um, because sometimes when you can't let something go, you, you need to go down the rabbit hole of filth. Okay, so you can just get that out of your system and then try and get get back again. But is that just the same ping pong game that you're playing here with the bipolar stuff? You know what I mean. And so if we give into that rabbit hole, okay, great. So that can help you feel better. No, it's never going to help you feel better. It never will. But without going down that dark rabbit hole, um, you're going to feel like something is always unfinished, unresolved. Um, you're going to be in agony, actually. I would, I would say that the most love, it, love that you could provide this, this female reflection here is to see her as a living being just like you. Then somebody who is not cold and somebody who is alive and has their own free will. And somebody you need to respect and have gratitude for and to enjoy the surprise of who they are. Not to control who they are, to put them into a specific box so that you can tolerate it. I mean... So again, we, we're working on shame, right? So we're talking about things that are, that are hard for you, hard for what you've been through that created the you that you are, that you're facing this re representation of love. And this is shame that you don't want to feel, this shame that then doesn't exist, but it does exist. You understand me? It does exist. Ask your higher self, what's the next step here to helping you? Because I, I would like, I want to come full circle and give you some, something a little bit um, lighter hearted, right? Uh, because I, I don't want to like stop on this um, dark note, you know, it's, it's hard. This is hard stuff. I, I ask you, what is love? What is genuine love about? You say, that's it. That's it. Is you're thinking about what we're talking about. And because we're, you are also following along in my mind, like my images about the, the rabbit hole and let's just go crazy and let's freaking get drunk and do all these drugs and strippers or whatever, and bondage, whatever weird stuff, okay, on the dark rabbit hole. But that isn't... Um, you're starting to understand what it what the vibrational ingredient is that you're missing and it's helping to give you a softer side a gentler side it's helping you to feel more at ease you're still trying to see the balance of what are your dark and light sides and perhaps that is the dark side of your higher self but it is so uh, putrid. It is so vile and disgusting, okay? And that is not going to help you at all. You're going to have to really be conscientious of what is a genuine representation of love. All the time you'll have to be conscientious of this. And I do agree that your exercise and your schedule um, is a representation of love that is practical and you are trying the best that you know how. We need to just keep working on all the avenues, all the branches of this tree, all that you are, okay? And help you get truly heart-centered. 
because you, you are a beautiful being. Okay. That's what I, uh, I have for you. That's what my experience is. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you very much for sharing. And for those watching, if any of you are interested in having me take a look at anything you got going on there to receive some energy healing and psychic wisdom, um, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day.